Well, hello there. Welcome to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, today I'm going to take just a few minutes to share with you my thoughts on a recent release from the Criterion Collection. It comes in at spine number 1149. And this is a film that was co-directed by Sean Baker and Shi Ching Tzu. It's a 2004 film, Takeout. Sean Baker is the director of films such as The Florida Project, Red Rocket, and Tangerine. This is his 2004 film, Takeout, which I think was his second film. And it covers the life of undocumented immigrants in the United States. This takes place a couple years after 9-11, and it covers these undocumented immigrants who are working for this, this restaurant in New York City, and it's basically a takeout place. So they're doing takeout deliveries from this restaurant, and that's, of course, the title of the film, Takeout. So just wanted to take a few minutes and share my thoughts on this title. And my, my overall take from this release, just to cut to the chase, is this release from the Criterion Collection of Takeout is an example of why I love blind buys from the Criterion Collection. Because when I first heard this title announced that it was coming out a few months ago, my interest, my interest was piqued by the description, but I didn't know hardly anything about the movie, but I wanted to check it out. And when I checked it out, I had to watch this film over a couple of over a couple of nights because I kept falling asleep, not because the film was was bad or, or anything. I was just tired. But I finally got around to finishing the movie, going through the special features, and man, I tell you what, it really gave me an appreciation for Sean Baker, Shi Ching Su, their filmmaking process. It gave me an appreciation for the plight of these people during this time and the fact that even though this is 20 years ago that this film is taking place, that some of those issues still persist to this day, which I found very fascinating. But I learned a lot about Sean Baker, about him as a director, as a filmmaker. I had never seen any of his films before, but I'm definitely inspired because I've heard a number of you talk about the Florida Project, and I know, I know a number of you have picked up the recent release of Red Rocket, and so I've heard, you know, some good things about some of his other work. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking those out. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite films are from Sean Baker. But one of the big takeaways that I got from this film, Takeout, was that this film was inspired by films such as this right here, The Celebration. This film here that came out from Thomas Vinterberg, part of the Dogma 95 movement. And the way that Takeout was shot and directed was along that same Dogma 95, you know, handheld photography, using video cameras. They shot Takeout the same way. So it had that inspiration. And it also gave me vibes of this film as well from Wayne Wong, Chan is Missing. So in watching Takeout, I really got a similar vibe to those other releases from the Criterion Collection. And it just gave me an appreciation for when Criterion is selecting films to release and, and to bring into its catalog, that there's sort of a thematic consistency and connection to other works that they've done as well. And it makes for some good opportunities for like double and triple features. And so I would definitely recommend when you watch Takeout, to maybe consider checking out these titles as well because the filmmaking techniques in these films and films like this inspired the filmmaking techniques that Sean Baker and Shi Ching Su employed in making takeout. So I found that very fascinating. That's also the reason why I'm shooting this review handheld is in the spirit of that of that filmmaking style, similar to my review of The Celebration. So that's why I'm shooting this handheld style, sort of, you know, gonzo style, so to speak. So I hope you can appreciate that. But my overall take on this release was very positive. After I had a chance to go through this movie, go through the special features, it tells a very fascinating story of this man here who is an immigrant from China. He's come to America to try to make money the whole American, you know, pursuit of the American dream, okay? He's trying to make money, send it back to his wife and his son who are back in China. 
and he has a he has a a debt with a loan shark, and he's given a deadline to to you know pay us eight hundred dollars by tonight, or your debt will be doubled. So all of the action in this in this movie, if you can call it action, takes place over the course of basically one day. So he goes to work, he does his deliveries. You see the different people he's delivering. He's delivering food to. You see the activities within this this takeout, you know, place. The people that work there, and you see the process of them cooking the food and preparing the orders. And it's really a fascinating, fascinating, you know, look at the life of people in this slice of life in New York City a couple of years after 9/11. So there's a lot that's packed into the roughly what 88 minutes of runtime of this film that I really, really enjoy. Let me take a minute to read the back of the case for you. It says, take out. The American dream has rarely seemed so far away as in Sean Baker and Shi Ching Su's raw verite takeout, an immersion in the life of an undocumented Chinese immigrant struggling to get by on the margins of post 9-11 New York City, facing violent retaliation from a loan shark Restaurant delivery man Ming Ding has until nightfall to pay back the money he owes, and he encounters both crushing setbacks um, and moments of unexpected humanity as he races across time to earn enough in tips over the course of a frantic day. From this simple setup, Baker and Sue fashion a kind of neo-realist survival thriller of the everyday shedding compassionate light on the two often overlooked lives and labor that keep New York running. Great description as always from the Criterion, from the Criterion case of Takeout. Just a beautiful, realistic take of the life of these people. A slice of life in a day in New York City. That gritty realism is what you're getting in this release from the Criterion Collection. That serves as a nice segue into the video and audio quality. So with this release, this is a new 4K digital restoration supervised and approved by Sean Baker and Shi Ching Su and an uncompressed stereo soundtrack. So it's a 4K digital restoration of those video elements that they put together in making this movie. And one of the things in the special features that Sean Baker mentioned is he really gave kudos to Criterion for the opportunity to work with them to bring this movie together in the way that he originally envisioned it. Because when it was first released to Sundance, it was pretty, pretty raw. OK, it was basically a, a straight export from Final Cut Pro. And here it is, you know, but working with Criterion, he was able to put together and process this video in the best possible quality. And that's what you're getting on this Blu-ray disc. As a result, what you're getting is a very pleasing overall high, defini image, high definition image. It is not the most tax sharp picture that you'll ever see, just given the elements that went into making this film. It's a similar story to a film like this here, The Celebration. Although I would say that the picture quality on Takeout is better than The Celebration. Takeout looks much better, I think, from an overall picture quality standpoint. But it still retains that rough, gritty look that is the intent from the filmmaker to present a film that has that rough, gritty, grimy, you know, look into life in this section of New York City at this time. So I think from an overall video and audio quality standpoint, the audio sounds just fine. You hear everything going on in the soundscape within the small takeout restaurant and the activity on the streets and the interactions with the people during the deliveries. So everything sonically comes across very well, very clearly. So from a technical standpoint, double thumbs up. I got, of course, I'm filming with my hand here. So imagine this being two thumbs, one thumb here and one and one thumb here. Two thumbs up on the overall presentation. Now, as far as the special features, you do get a couple of nice features on here. It's not a stacked edition, but there is an audio commentary on here, which is great. That features Sean Baker and, and Sue and actor Charles Jang. Charles Jong, the actor, plays this um, character here, who is Ming Ding, the main character in the film. So hearing from Charles Jong and hearing from the other players, including the woman who was the head of the restaurant, 
it was just fantastic. And also you get from the special features and the essay that's included in here, the story that inspired this movie in terms of Sean Baker and Shi Ching Su, you know, working together, being a couple at that time. And as they were living in an apartment in New York City, they would run into these real life delivery people who were delivering meals from these restaurants. And that inspired them to make this story. And so I found that fascinating and how they were inspired by films like films from the Dog 195 movement, like The Celebration. And that inspired the way they wanted to shoot this film in this like, like a blend of narrative filmmaking and documentary filmmaking. So I just, I just love that. They literally raised $3,000 and they rented a camera for like $800 to make this film. So it is, it is gritty, gonzo filmmaking style at its best. And it really gives the story behind this movie so much realism and immediacy and impact that it just, it really hits you in a, in a way that gives you an experience more than you would get from a, you know, highly produced or high production value type film. This is gritty filmmaking at its best and it really puts the story in front of you and make these characters real and make these characters, you know, characters that you can actually, you know, relate to and, and sympathize with. So I really appreciated that. So overall, this is definitely a release that I can recommend if you are interested in this type of a film. So again, it's shot with that gritty filmmaking style, handheld photography. It's giving you that 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 realistic look into life at that time. So it's realism, it's a documentary type film, and but it's a documentary film that, that has a narrative element to it. So if you're interested in a film like that, I can definitely recommend Takeout. So I'm gonna look at my notes here and see if I have any other notes here. Oh yes, Sean Baker, I learned from the special speaker special features, special features that Sean Baker shares my love of 1970s films because he he really liked and appreciated the gritty realism of the 1970s films. And that's part of the appeal for me. So I found that interesting. And the fact that video, that shooting with video conveys realism and, you know, that the medium that you're shooting with kind of helps to convey the story you're trying to tell. So I found that found that very interesting. And then another really interesting aspect of this is as Sean Baker and Shi Ching Su were working together, they wrote the screenplay in English originally because Sean doesn't know, you know, Mandarin. And then Shi Ching translated the screenplay to Mandarin so that way the actors could actually, you know, act out, you know, the um the actual film. And I, I found that found that very, very fascinating. So the American dream is difficult because of the poor conditions people are operating in. And that's part of what you pick up with this film. And the fact that Takeout was a hybrid between narrative and documentary filmmaking. And it would serve as the start to how Sean would make other films in the future, such as, I guess, the Florida Project or maybe even Red Rocket. And Shi Ching Su served as a producer on those films as well. So this is really a fascinating addition from the Criterion Collection that I highly, highly recommend. If you're into this type of a film, I'll open up the case here. You get a nice essay on the inside from author J.J. Murphy that helps tell the story here of how this film came together and how Sean Baker and Shi Ching collaborated on it. But this is definitely a title that I give high marks to and can highly recommend if you're up for this type of documentary, socio-realistic socio type of a film. So that's where I will leave it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of Takeout if you've seen it. And let me know what some of your favorite films are from directors Sean Baker and Shi Ching Su. Let me know all that goodness in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.